Yeah, I got you. We can talk about the yeet snippet. So I tweeted this last night when we were at the club. I was really destroyed. I think I posted a picture with it. It was like just just black because uh, there's obviously no lights on in the club. And I said it would be cool. Or I said something about like they need to start playing Yeet in here because the music was I don't know what it is about clubs. It's all 2000s hip hop music, which is cool and all. But it just makes me feel old as shit. Um, but if they put Yeet on, maybe I'd, I'd get my inner demon on. But anyway, um, so Yeet posted a snippet last night while I was at the casino and at the club. And I think that this actually, the past couple of snippets and songs have broken the thoughts that I had on where his music was going in that I thought it might have, he might have saturated the market a little bit by posting way too much. Or, or dropping way too much like like literally the Uzi future method where it just turns into fast food but no the past few songs have been amazing like even this even this snippet like the flow a new flow has been unlocked he hit like level 42 and evolved into yeetus Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. That is amazing. I think all he had to do was on the biggest yeet stand. Not even, bro. He's just too hard. I think all he needed to do was like switch up the beats. Every single rapper, I don't care. It's like the baby method and it works. You can literally have the same song lyric wise and flow wise, but if you put it on a different beat, it completely sounds like a totally different song. That's why they do remixes with like different beats underneath and people like those more than the original songs, you know, like the chill remixes on YouTube. I even listen to those. Or like produced by Adrian, where he re he reproduces the song. They're amazing. It's like a whole different song at that point. So I just think Yeet need to get away from dropping on those whole lot of red de derivative type beats that turned into his own style. So I'm not saying he biting or anything, but this like the eight away is like still super dark, right? Still. He's still evolving through the game, but yo, I think in the next few years, like Yee is, he, he's going to continue to go up. He's going to be, I would not be surprised if he starts passing up like, like mainstream, mainstream people. Again, he wasn't even on Rap Caviar the first week of Two Alive and it still, still sold 34K. That shit is crazy. Going back and listening to like, he's too good. I compare Yee with the baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's just a similar concept. You think he'd go crazy on features? See, I think right now he's like sticking to himself because he knows he's him currently in that he's not sharing the clout with anybody other than like his homies really like September's Rich, Ken Carson, his producers, all the people who are like at least in his crew or like similar clout level and ken isn't like as up as him but ken is you know what i mean he's like rare like cardi he's like the, he's like the underground version of cardi essentially whereas yeet's just like it yeet is like underground drake although he's not underground but you know what i mean and people are saying his buzz won't last i don't know of course this, he's not going to be like the hottest thing coming out for, like you literally can't hold that rep unless again unless you're carney and even cardies won't last but i give it like another two three years I, like I, I i truly think he knows what he's doing because apparently behind the scenes people have told me like he's the mastermind behind it all like he'll 
he'll contemplate all of the moves that they need to do like we, the the he posts and deletes right like he just knows how to move on this internet shit he he's been doing this since what like 2016 he was probably watching people of like how they did things and like what works testing testing test i mean that's that's all clout really is it's like testing different content on these algorithms and seeing what works and then or or watching other people and seeing what works and then just capitalizing it where other people's other people do not not trying to sound like that but that guy but i feel like yeet had to sell his soul to, to get as big as he is i mean look there's this post that we did a couple of days ago it was like yeet one year ago and this was a couple of days ago so i think it was like it's the 25th right now 23rd 20 i think it was june 22nd of 2021 and bro legit had 19k followers i don't know how many followers he has now but it's def it's like over a mil it's got to be i haven't checked up on that in a, in a while but the trajectory is crazy like the internet has really made it possible to do anything he's got 1.4 mil oh my god but the thing is when you go up so fast like that it's like the little pump situation the faster you go up i mean potentially the faster you go down like shit could get old but again i think he knows how to move he he just got to keep things interesting all the marketing and yeah his streams are decreasing we discussed that but that's that's only because he like every time you drop you get like a huge spike and then it like wanes off and then you drop and, and it's like a slow curve that just goes up it stonks bro stonks so i think next project he'll be chilling but yeah his monthly listeners have been going down but they'll go up next project as soon as he drops it especially with like the features like you you thought he had uzi i wouldn't be surprised remember next dell on the stream when uh when i was he was with terry i think it was it was when to alive dropped or geek pack i'm not sure but he said they had drake features drake collabs so it's just a matter of time he hasn't even un unfolded all of the the strategies that he's he has in the vault if you have a drake feature you're you're solidified man i bet you block boy jb is still eating off of the songs he had with drake even though now if you look at his twitter he gets like two likes get off yeet's dick man hey i'm just witnessing grace greatness i bet you if we were talking about cardi like this y'all would be jizzing your pants but all of a sudden just because it's not cardi you're uh you're you're mad about it but yeah he's playing chess we know Drake gotta approve it. I bet you Drake, at this point, I was talking to my friend, I think that Drake is cashing out. Like this whole dance album that he just dropped and then he's doing a steak deal. There's no reason for Drake to do a steak deal and gamble. There really is not. He has so much money. He has a bunch of money coming in still from royalties and, and he's like promoting something pretty bad and i'm not saying that i wouldn't do it because you know i don't got drake money like that but if i had drake money i would not sell that's selling your soul to me like people think way up says he got a hundred million from stake he already had a hundred million what is another hundred million and like morally though is the money that he's getting worth it when he already has uh that much and like the morals are your your morals are deteriorating at that point by promoting gambling to kids like millions of people but yeah he might he might be just trying to get to a billion but i don't, I don't think that's the right way dude is still in his 30s isn't he it's like why are you trying to rush to get a get to a billion you said you'd rather have 200 million than 100 million yes but like i think that he's he's decreasing his longevity like at a certain point once you already have money it's about respect so if you start say 
at, at a much smaller level if drake were to start scamming people for features like some underground fans or uh, rappers do you're like why like why would you try and lose a fan who messed with you so much that they were gonna buy a feature from you and they were gonna promote the song and help you anyway but now you lost them one of your biggest fans who again was gonna pay you money not just stream your music that you get like four cents from per stream or less than they they were gonna pay you a hundred dollars for a feature now you lost them now they're gonna post it on reddit tell their friends how bad of a person you are because ultimately we're all just humans people like music but they like the person behind the music more but it's just he he's selling out i don't think it's a good move at all and i understand what he's doing with his other album the the dance one like people will play it in the miami nightclubs i get it he's trying not to be just a rapper expand his horizons he's doing he's a, he, he executive produced euphoria which i think is a solid move that that show is amazing so again if he's executive producing euphoria he was he's gonna be a billionaire anyway it doesn't matter 